You spin a prayer wheel. You bring a bottle of butter. You prepare white hada. And you buy a bottle of wine. Holding all the necessary offerings, people line up at Joshi Hakon Monastery in Lhasa, the capital city of Tibet, to serve one goddess. Some pour butter into lamp holders, while others pass wine to a monk. Outsiders might find it surprising that alcohol is allowed in the Tibetan Buddhist temple, and more surprised that the goddess does drink a lot every day. The local people said the Joshi Hakon goddess originally came from the Chinese mainland in search of Buddhist truth. She was very faithful, wise, and also born extremely pretty. Her beauty invited jealousy from several malicious women. They pointed her, and her face turned scary. Her tongue stuck out. Her look scared away evil, and business people found she was particularly effective in guarding and bringing wealth. Since she was from the mainland, many immigrants also worshipped her as their guardian. Year after year, she's become one of the most popular Buddhist gods in Lhasa. There are several folk versions of the temple's history, but the monks at Joshi Hakon Monastery said the official record was destroyed during the Cultural Revolution, so there isn't one standard version now. Giving offerings to the Joshi Hakon goddess is only the first part of the worship process. The next part is to walk around the main hall clockwise and give your gift money to each Buddha worship here. Many people exchange their gifts into smaller notes from an open money pool. Nobody watches the money, but no one takes away a penny.